Welcome to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Jason Carreza, born on 14 January 1983. He is a former Australian cricketer. He played for the Tasmanian Tigers and Leicester Shires. Jason Carreza is an all-rounder contributing to the team mainly as a right-arm off-break bowler but also as a right-handed lower middle-order batsman. In Task cricket, there are very few bowlers who have taken 8 or more wickets in an innings. Jason Carreza is one of them. After a poor first outing for an Australian touring team in which he gave up 199 runs in 31 hours. Jason Kreza chances of playing a test on the 2008 and 9 tour of India seemed bleak. But when he was finally picked ahead of Stuart Clark for the deciding test in Nagpur, Kreza collected staggering debut inning figures of 8 for 215. It was a bittersweet debut, however, as Kreza also conceded more runs than anyone in their median test performance. Performance. He went on to finish with 12 victims of the game. Of Australian players, only Bob Messi ended his test debut with batter figures. Rahul Dravid became his first test wicket. He went on to claim 8 wickets for 215 runs in the first innings and in the process he became just the 14 Australian to take 5 or more wickets in an innings on debut and also created the unbelievable world record of conceding the most runs for any bowler on test debut while also taking most wicket in his first test match innings. It also beat his best first class bowling of 4 for 91. In the second innings, he took a further 4 wickets for 143 runs, leaving him with the figure of 12 wickets for 358 runs in his test match. He is the second on the list of test bowlers who have considered more runs in a single test match, beaten only by Tommy Scott's made return for 9 for 374 for the West Indies against England in Kingston in 1920. Jason Kreza was named man of the match despite Australian defeat. Let's watch his test debut balling. Look at that. That is fabulous cricket. Kreza has his wicket. Ponting has his moment for sticking with his off spinner. Spectacular stuff. Raul Dravid goes. The lacklustre form continues. Reza is delighted. It's his first wicket. It's a big wicket. Yeah! Oh, got him! Kreja has another one. What a terrific little spell this has become. And in the end, he got his main destroyer, Verinda Sevag. Yeah! He got him. And he's given him. Vivius Lakshman plays a loose shot again, trying to create a little bit of width to ease it through the offside. Gets a faint little nick and Brad Haddon takes it on the second attempt. Yeah! Oh, no him! Crazy has another wicket. Fantastic performance. He now has four. He might have conceded 200. But he's got MS Dhoni. Another big, big scalp for him. Yes, what a good catch. What a super catch by Michael Clark. Now Ganguly is added to Jason Crazier's list. And this is just becoming the most marvellous start for the man. What a brilliant catch this is. And he made it look easy, Michael Clark. Yeah! Bowled him. Again, good bowling from Crazier, throwing the ball high in the air out of the bowler's foot marks. A little bit of an inside edge and then onto the stumps, the end of Zahir Khan. Big moment for Jason Crazier. Picked up his number six. Yeah! Bowled him! Two in a row, Jason Crazier's on a hat trick. Well, the first ball that he faces, faces in test cricket and he's gone. In the air and caught, fantastic catch from Simon Kaddish, a bat pad, great reactions from him. Crazier has eight. Fourth bowler in the history of the game to get eight wickets on debut. Alf Valentine of the West Indies, Bob Massey, Narendra Hirwani, and now Jason Crazier joins that list. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes, indeed. That is a magical moment. Unplayable. Anybody in world cricket would have been out to this delivery. Oh, yeah. did he carry the 
Australians think so. First goal duck for Sarah Ganguly. He will be on a hat trick, but Sarah Ganguly has ended his test career with a first ball duck. Match on still. Did he get it inside here? Jaff goes to finger. Oh, was it a bump ball? He just clarified with the fielder and he's given him. Dhoni waits, but he's got to go. Alim Da has given him. Caught out at silly point. Hit. Has he got it in the end? He got it in the end. Has he gloved it? Yes, he's gloved it. So Jason Crazier now has four. Well, that was very sharp work from Brad Haddin, who was grabbing and grabbing into thin air. He's a happy man. He's worked hard. 12 wickets in the match so far. Jason Kreza was then dropped for the first test against New Zealand in Brisbane on grounds that the pitch would benefit seamers as Australia fielded no spinners. He was to be recalled for the second test in Adelaide but he injured his ankle and was replaced by fellow off spinner Nathan Horace. Australia won both tests. Kreza played his first test in Australia against South Africa in Perth. He took one for 103 and none for 106 and was eventually dropped from the squad for the second test in the favour of Nathan Horace after the tourists reached their target of 414 with six wickets in hand. After spending a couple of seasons in international wilderness, Kareza was surprisingly called up to the Australian Wonders side for the seventh ODI against England. His opportunity arose due to injuries to first-choice winners Nathan Horace and Stephen Smith and preferred backup option Xavier Doherty. He made his ODI debut in Perth and finished with bowling figure of 2 for 53 from 9 over as well as making 6 not out with the bat in a match the Australian won by 57 runs to take the series 6-1. Kreza was also named in the Australian squad for the 2011 Cricket World Cup on the subcontinent with both Nathan Horace and Xavier Daughtry unable to make the trip due to their respective injuries. Jason Kreza who was an off spinner who is willing to flight the ball and can extract decent turn. Jason as a debut season at New South Wales, raised eyes grows as he's picked up Michael Bavan, a more than handy player of spin, who spent two years at the MCG three times. The summer ended with nine Pure Cup matches and 12 wickets. The following campaigns was less productive as Steve O'Keefe and Aaron O'Brien were also employed before Nathan Horace and Bukasan swelled the stock further. Until he burst onto the test scene, Kreza did not have a first class 5 wicket hold to his name, but his resume did include solid batting. He has 4 first class half centuries. Kreza spent his time away from the game singing and playing guitar, and he was an interesting family history. His father is a footballer, and also mother is a footballer from Poland. He just placed two test match for Australia and picked up 13 wickets. And in eight ODIs, he picked up seven wickets. He also played 54 first class matches in which he picked up 114 wickets with the best of eight for 215. In 58 list of matches, his contributions of 61 wickets with the best of six for 55. In 29 T20 international matches, he picked up 30 wickets with the best of three for 13. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.